Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and to date we are going to make it push, hopefully, to top 100 Mythic on the ladder. And uh, what we have today is a blue-white control deck, Azorius, for best of one standard. Um, I put a poll out on my YouTube, uh, just seeing what people's preferred format was. It was a little bit heavier way to best of three, but I do want to provide some content in terms of best of one. Um, so this deck is kind of built more so to deal with the best of one meta. Um, than a best of three meta, but you can always adapt it to kind of play in those games there. Um, so what we have here um, is basically a blue white control deck with a enchantment sub theme. Um, this is a non Yorian build, um, so we're trying to hit our cards at a little bit more reliance and less focused on the blinking necessarily. Um, our win condition primarily is Dream Trawler or Shark Typhoon, either hard casted or cycled. Um, we do have the option of also trying to go wide with Arkans of Sun's Grace to make tokens. Um, there's a cool interaction with Nico Aris. Uh, when you make the shards, they're enchantments, so they trigger each instance. Each shard triggers Arkan of Sun's Grace. So kind of a cool way to win like that. Um, we also have a Fey of Wishes for a wishboard package for best of one. Uh, there's a number of cards here to kind of have situational answers, counters, stuff like that. Um, and then we also have another like Shark Typhoon, Amirius Call, Allrins, or Ugin in the side as additional win conditions. Um, within the deck itself, we have a number of answers. Glass Casket and Skyclave Apparition are very good in best of one because they deal with a lot of the indestructible stuff and they exile. So both Annex gets rid of it. Um, any of the indestructible creatures in Mono White as well. Uh, and then we have counter spells in the terms of negate, Jawari, saw it coming. This allows us to interrupt uh, like salt eye combo and uh, anything over the top. Um, piecing together, we have some draw in like Omen of the Sea to Fairy, and then we have Doom Scar and Elspeth Conquers Death to wound, wind things up. Um, the one thing I wanted to see was potentially including one escape card. Uh, there is a bit more. I think we're going to play one escape card. And it's probably just going to be Glimpse of Freedom. There's a lot of rogues right now on the ladder, so I think I like having that on as well. Um, in the mana base wise, it's pretty standard. We have Field of Ruins to deal with um, a Faceless Haven, uh, as well as opponent's castles. Um, but let's take it to the ladder. I think I'm at 445, so let's see if we can go any higher. I'm currently 5-0 with this list I was playing last night, but we'll see how it goes. Hey Logan, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. So as always, if you do enjoy the content, if you can, be greatly appreciated if you could drop a like and a comment on the YouTube video if you're catching this on YouTube. And if you ever want to know when we go live, you can always drop a follow on Twitch. Uh, everything's there. It's all free and easy ways to help out the channel. So Luris means rogues. So I think we're just gonna set up, we're gonna keep this. This is good as a cycler. We have a card draw and we have two pieces of removal. Rogues is a tough matchup, but not unbeatable. The fact they Camille, we're not Yorian. And the fact they also have counters in a timely fashion can be a bit of an issue. So lead on this in case we do draw an abundance of lines. Probably going to put Doom Scar down. So we'll lay away the Doom Scar. The crab starts are gonna be pretty bad for us. If they go like another crab here, we might want to just sweep up early. If not, I'm probably just gonna play a Skyclave out. If they just say, like, land go, we'll hold up Jawari Disruption. Glass Casket wouldn't be too bad. So we're probably going to sweep here, I think. We can try to wait one more turn to get some value that way. I can exile here. I 
think we do this. So the reason I'm doing this is this will mill us more cards. This entices them in an attack to play out another creature main phase. Um, and then I want to get this out of the way now. They can mill a lot quicker than with Crab. Crab just lets them play lines and then hold up at instant speed. I will try to trade here in combat. Yeah. So this is good for us. We lost our Fey. Conqueror's Death is actually pretty good to normally get. I think we want to dig for a land here. Jeez. Punished. Needed a land there. I wanted to glass casket. We can try to bait them with like a glass casket into a doom scar. Also, they really like to main phase. Um, that's fine. That's going to get milled anyways. Um, I just want to bait it out of them. They most likely have a counter here. Yeah. I do have this Shark Typhoon, but they likely have removal in hand. Like this, if I draw land, then I have two hits. Leaves me the most open, perfect. And then I also have a shark if needed. They pass pretty quick, so if I can hard cast shark, it's pretty good. And if they just play out Laris here, then that's also advantageous. If you're new to Magic uh, Arena, or if you just haven't seen it before, this is Untapped GG. It's actually a really cool uh, interface. Um, Nico Aris. And Glass Casket. I think we're keeping both. Um, basically, it's an overlay. Provides you a bunch of de deck statistics, stuff like that. Um, it's free to use, so if you ever want to check it out, it's in my bio description. Um, I think we're just doing this for one here. I kind of want to bait a counter out of them with this. That's fine. It's basically one less counter I have to deal with. Okay, so now we have the Doom Scar ready. With Sock coming back up, which is great. 29 cards. Did we hit a Dream Trawler yet? Two Dream Trawlers still in the deck. One Conquer's Death. I think that's fine. I have this anyways. He says, as they have exactly fabled, I want to keep this up for Into the Story. It's the way they kind of come back out of this one. Since we're not on Yorian, we can be more aggressive with these. We're at 23 cards. Don't think I want either of those. Okay, that's something. I 
think we're just setting this away on layaway. We can't, um, like we're going to get hit by dispute anyways if they have another one, so no sense there. I think we're just passing the turn here. Tell that resolve first. So this can bait a removal spell out of them. Might see into the story here. If we can dodge one turn, that's fine. Hey. Okay. I should have probably foretold this. Just shark here. They likely have a counter spell, so I don't want to. Okay, if we draw one more line, then I could Conquer's Death Hardcast with Saw coming back up. Um, one, two. One, two, three, four. I think we're just shark typhooning again. Leap skills fine. So we can just do this for two mana and then keep up saw coming. trade here. We need to be mindful of cards in library. Hey Mr. Fuma. No, this is um, my version. It's not Matt's. Um, so it, this one's just kind of less Yorian. So I have Arkans, I have Skyclaves, and Fey. So I think we're just doing this. And then we'll get back our Arkin. We're at 11 cards. So the list here is on the side. You can also do exclamation deck. It's the cardboard live one. Um. I mean, we gotta close this up. Even if they kill this, I can bring it back. I only have 10 cards in library, so I have to be mindful of attacks. So we might be able to close. Hey, Babalek. Yeah, more Gandalf, less Fable. Matt really loves your piles. Bye. Thank you, Bobby Luck. Up to 334. So with that game, it's just about being patient. We have a stronger late game. It's just a matter of not getting hit by like into the story, stuff like that. I think Dream Trawler, at least in Best of One, is uh, pretty good. Uh, no, but look, I'm going to be doing... This is the only standard deck. Yeah, I'm um, playing... This deck is a Best of One deck. It's got a Fae of Wishes sideboard package. Um, so that's why there's the sideboard with it. Um, and then I have Best of One Demir uh, Gear Hulk in Historic. Um, using like Sublime Epiphany to copy Torrential Gear Hulk. 
Uh, and then I have best of three, uh, five color Niv Mizzet. Um, so we'll try to get through all of them today. I uh, probably, I've kind of been liking best of one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, if I get a chance, Bubblek, I want to get through these three first. I had them in my queue. And then um, I'll, I'll run your list if we have some time. Can you do me a favor? Can you drop um, an export in the Discord? Just so it's easier for me to input. It's taking a while. I just didn't want to get the, the draw. For anyone else, if you do like chatting magic, we do have a Discord. Bubblek is part of it, as well as many others. We chat magic, share brews, strategies. Um, we go first. We're a little short on mana, and our hand's not really set up in a manner that's useful. We don't know what we're playing. I think we still keep this. I'm actually going to lead on the field of ruin first. Ashaya. Um, I think we're just... So I'm kind of stuck here. I need... I think we need to set up Doomscar here. This is gonna be kind of our win con. You doing Brawl, Logan, or like a best of three? Mana base is a little awkward this game. Um, mana is killing us this game. So hopefully they just go like Bone Crusher, another one drop here. Ideally not Annex. Cool. I'll take a look, Bubble Luck. Don't have a target yet for fields. Okay, well... I think we just do this. This kind of forces them to commit more to the board. If they have Frostbite, that's fine. Um, you don't want to do it on the first strikers. Um, so they're going to get that. I kind of want to pick off one more card here. So I think what we're going to do... Hard cast Fae. Just do that. We draw land, I can Conquer's Death. Um, I think we're okay for lines beyond this. I think we're good doing the four for one. We take two damage, but I get to Conquer's death, whatever three drop they play out. Ooh, this is tempting. So, no, I think we got to do this. Just because this can scale larger. And I'm probably just going to Field of Ruin. Another Annex. Okay, so this is actually good now. This lets me do this. Hold up a blocker and then uh, Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll take a look. It's going to be a no for me, dog. Torbrand is not something we want to see. <laughs> Opponent's a good sport. Sorry if I'm a little slow responding to comments. I switched my monitors around, so it's not as, like, to the eye. Oh, opponent. Opponent. I'm sorry. Did you want to gain some life? Bye. Top 300. Not too shabby. For those of you just dropping by, we are... Gandalfing some opponents in best of one standard 60 card special win cons dream trawlers Arkans in that last game we saw some shark typhoons a lot of exile with a fey wishboard package um, for that best of one goodness uh, I'm actually I think 7 and 0 now with the list Let's see if we can go easy 10 0 with it Yeah, 7 and 0 so this is all through um, untapped, like I mentioned. You can track all your status and games. Um, but let's fire up another one, see how it goes. Logan, are you playing against angels for them to be at 117? Tommy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate the support. Hamburger Sam, this hand is great. A lot of flexibility here if it's control or aggro. In the dark, I just want lions, I think, right now. Okay, so let's doom scaring. Hey, Tommy, how's it going? kind of want to get them for a little bit more. So I th think we're willing to take one more hit here. Well, appreciate it nonetheless. Thanks for joining. On Instagram, you just see the pictures. Now you get to see the decks in action. This Doomscar can let us catch up pretty well, so. The only thing I'll counter here is Maul, just because it means three more damage this turn. Um, I think what we're going to do is just casket. And then draw. I guess the bad thing is if they get um, the indestructible dude. That's fine. This is actually great. Because now I get a 2-2 two -two after this, and I 3-for-1 then. Skyclave's great. Land is perfect. Um, here I want probably another white source. Doom Scarring. Just foretell this. That lets me do both of these next turn. No. Opponent's at 26 life, but we have some good control over the board here. That's a bit of an issue. Um, I 
think here. I want to try to find a land just for this dream trawler. So the thing here, I know they can get protection. That was actually like the best draw they could have had. But um, I just want to keep these both back. This makes it so they can't play this this turn. They have to play, play the all seed again. And then we're just going to win through this Dream Trawler. That's another scary card. So us going shields down this turn hurt a bit. Okay, that's actually good. As a follow-up. Um, Got to go down. Dream Trawler in the air will help. This can outpace them in terms of life gain. Heliod's scary. The one thing they can do is just make this big enough and go unblockable. Um, I think we're just doing this. Want to save five life here. Doom Scar. Kind of want to make them play a little bit more to the board here. See what we draw. Okay, that's good. Um, so here. Gonna go Skyclave. Hey, Quick, how's it going? Morning for you, so what area are you from? Europe? That's fine. So I did that to bait it out. So now I can do this over here on the Luris. And now we just troll all all all. Arizona. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, they just naturally top deck another Luris. Better lucky than good. Let's see where they throw this counter on. So we always have this as a backup plan. That's fine. Throwing these in the way is fine as well. So we're looking for something like Elspeth Conquers Death here. Just keeping our life total a bit high. Yeah, I don't know why I thought Europe. Going the wrong way. Europe's at night right now. Um, four cards in the graveyard. You go Aris. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. I tap my mana wrong. One. Two, three, four, five. X2. Nice. Are you doing it in person, uh, Logan? I'm 
I'm still waiting at for us to get our vaccines here so I can go out and have a pseudo semi-normal life. I think keeping this in hand is fine. Just holding this up as a counter. Um, we drew two cards this turn. So we can't do that. I think we're just plussing here. I'm just using this as bait, really. We can draw a card on their end step. I want them to kind of value this incorrectly. And then with Dream Trawler, I could draw a bunch of cards. This will also put the fifth card in the graveyard. We're letting this happen. They don't play anything else. Just draw a card here. Glass casket. I think we're keeping that. It's a reasonable card. So, Dream Trawler in. I'm kind of worried to sweep the board without like a reasonable clock here. Okay, so that's actually really good. I actually don't think I mind that either. Because here I get to do glass casket. So we do the same play, Glass Casket on Heliod, they sack the All Seed. Yeah, none of this, we just moved, um, they're calling it like Gray Zone, so like very limited in-person capacity. That's cool, you can have that go away. And this is why I really like the Exile effects here. Bye, friend. 243. That's 8-0 with the deck. Did we just break the meta? While we load up. That's Saltai a few times. So mono white two, rogues twice, salt eye twice, mono red, and like a weird is it control list. Against Yorian, we effectively have two dead cards here. Gonna mulligan this. Yikes. Should have kept the other hand. I'm gonna mulligan again. Okay, well, we're not getting much better than this. Skyclave goes back. Conquer's death goes back. We want lands. The first hand, so against Yorian, they're generally Sultai or some sort of control pile. So your stuff like Glass Casket's not as effective against them. I 
I think I want to start having this available. Let's see if we could win on a multi five. We have field to take him off a dual land if needed. And because I have the scry off this, I'm going to save this one. This also lets my castles come into play untapped if we draw them in the future. We're going to try to take him off like a trinome here. Um, so Dream Trawler's not great in this matchup. Just because they have stuff like Extinction Event, we're also pretty low on cards, so... Not as effective there. So we'll save this. I want to get like an actual dual land out of them. Jawari could clip like Yorian for one mana, which is nice. Like, even these soft counters early in the game are pretty decent. That's fine. That's a new one. They basically just draw two for two mana there. This game's about card quality, not card quantity. Um, I still think we want the Jawari. So let's take Jawari and then I'm going to feel the Ruin the Triome. We're shuffling anyways, so second card doesn't matter. I want to make it harder for them to cast. Yeah, um, the meta's a little abrasive to Stone Cold right now. There's a lot of exile effects as opposed to just like damage based. Um, I think we want another white source here. Got a lot of blue. That's great draw as well. Can just start making tokens to pressure them. Yeah, they just get rid of. They have like a lot of removal here. Likely the case. Come on. Play zero value Yorian. I'm going to still hold this in case they try to go with Salty Ultimatum. I can make a 5-5 five, five Shark if needed. Paid four mana to destroy my token. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can make a token and counter something here.
so this is slowly becoming worse. Um, that's fine. So let them target here. Cycle this for five. I'm gonna try to find like a doom scar or something here. See if they kill it here. Yep, I do. Conquer's death's pretty nice here. Let's me deal with this Yorian. While still holding up saw it coming. Nothing in the yard yet, but I think that's okay. These little one one tokens are gonna try to get there. Doesn't do it. Boring clicks. I think we're just letting this come through. So I have Nico Aris. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just need to do this. Try to hard cast it, counter whatever spell they have, and then cast the big Nico Aris. I need mana. We're gonna have to try to draw some cards. This doesn't really change the math right now, so try to get him. Wow, they had the Jawari Disruption. So now we probably die. They're gonna take like turns. And then I hard casted my shark. Couldn't go the perfect Tenno. We multi five there and almost came out of it. That line there, like we needed that counter that turn. Any, we give them the extra turn, we're dead. They also ultimate Tybalt. And then if we go the other route, it's also, um, like we couldn't really do anything there because then they steal my hard casted shark typhoon. I guess we do have a couple turns to potentially Conquer's death, but with Voren Clex out. So this sounds good. Opponents not showing. I do think the way our hand's situated, we're going to be playing Jawari out as a counter. Opponent goes first. Let's see on how aggressive they are. Mono white, okay. Life gainer. Um, like this might be relevant, but I might have to play to the board. I need a second white source here. 
Because my turn's probably foretelling this. Yeah, I need to do this. I was thinking of like playing a different color out here. Them having no turn two plays pretty good for us. Okay, this is an easy glass casket. Just because they start making angels next turn. This will also buy us some time. Then I have the option to... Actually, I can't even field a Varun because they just have basics out right now. Need a white source. White source. That's also a nice follow-up. Hmm. Just in case they play something like Super Broken. I'm not too concerned they'll make an Angel here. But I'm sweeping their board. That's two of those down. So now I'll have Skyclave plus counter backup. I'm mauling the caskets, a bit of an issue. Um, I need to get the speaker off the board. I don't love this because they can hit me here. But it is the line I have to do right now. Because with Speaker, they're just going to make 4 fours, And without a Sweeper here. Let's see what they do. Heliod. No, thank you. They have enough devotion for Heliod to be active as well. Okay, so they're on the life gain version. Let's see if we find an answer here. Doom Scarin. Okay, so we take a hit here. They're not going to trade. Because the thing is, they're going to give this flying anyways. You keep trying that opponent, but I'm not going to let it happen. I guess this is worse now, because I can't... I'm going to take the damage. Skyclave my Skyclave. Yes! Greedy! Can just sack this to scry. You want to 
find like Dream Trawler. That's a very good card. I don't really want to thin out their deck. We don't even have an untapped planes at this point. We could just scry here. Uh, Luminarch something. It gets big enough to get through this arc in. I think we want to upkeep scry here. Try to find an answer. We want to get rid of this. Perfect. Bye, friend. I'm actually thinking we get rid of the mall. Because the mall's what's preventing me from getting in. Got him. Got him. Alrighty. What did we finish this one with? 9-1. Close one to Salti. Let this update. What do we finish? Should be nine one. Nine one. It's pretty solid overall with the deck. Uh, we'll probably switch things up now. I think 10 games is a good sample size.